Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I bring in the CR10S, a 3D printer. So I wanted to open it here, unbox it, and let you know what's included in this box. So this is an Amazon deal right now going on. It is a great buy right now. Uh, I purchased this because I'm using it for work, more for work 3D printing, uh, more of the models on 3D printer, uh, more of the, they want to see more objects for the job. So uh, it's for mostly um, construction that they're doing. They're building these, these little figures where they want to see how certain pipes cross, how certain things look. So uh, we're looking for one of the printers, not too expensive to do this kind of work. So we ended up buying one of these just for that kind of line of work. It's just for construction type of work. And you can use it for other things too, but it's mainly for work. That's pretty much what we're using it for. So let's take a look at it, what you guys get in the box when you unbox it and stick around. It takes two people to open it mostly. It's a little heavy device, just to let you guys know. Uh, you know, they, they, it's well protected. They have foam on the top, just perfect. And on top of that, they added new stuff included in here. If you purchased this, you would have got this little CDR plate in here. So it's a CC tree plate. It's so your prints, when they print out, they stick into this device. It's really neat. I got to take a look at it and, and, and let you guys more details on it. But it's one of those extra little features they included in here. Instead of you putting like the tape and spray and all that stuff, this strong is pretty strong. It's plastic, it's by 3M and they included this for free just for purchasing this device so that was a plus on this thing so let's normally it doesn't arrive with this machine you have to buy this a separate piece so let's see what else is included in here first of all let me remove all this plastic around it Whew, this is probably the biggest and the heaviest part of it it's the glass plated part uh and you got to be careful not to bend too much of the of the stuff in here because um, it won't print properly, you know, and the motorized too. So I'm going to leave this on the side here. I'm going to put this in the back. I'm going to take this out. This is pretty much how it comes secure. It's well plastic, well secure in there. So I'm going to put it here on the side. We're going to try to remove the box. That's what I'm going to do. Um, this is another plus they gave you. They gave you like different print heads <laughs> for the printer itself. They gave you four or five of them different 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.6 0 0.7 and um, i think there's another one here so they give you different nozzles just for the printer this was included this is not included in the original purchase this is a plus right now that they added these two th different items just for purchasing this machine so this is how good this machine is i mean they gave you extra stuff that you could even change a different nozzle so you could print out with different filaments so let's take a look so they included these nozzle heads, which is really great. They have a point, 0 0.2 nozzle, which is awesome little printing. You could actually change different filament size. Um, 0 0.4 millimeters, um, another nozzle they included. And 0 0.6 millimeters. This is a great plus for me. 0 0.8 millimeters in here and 1.0 millimeters in here. So all these nozzles came in as an extra incentive just for purchasing the machine not just a flat place um, cct tree but also these nozzles this is a great plus so they give you extra ones and the original purchase they don't, they're not included so just to let you guys know that this is a, a buy only a certain machines are out there um, for a certain time so make sure you purchase your stuff before they take these great buys out of there. So these are awesome little plus and I really appreciate these extra nozzles. In case you break the first one, you can always include these ones. Remove foam. Just to let you know, this, this machine is well secure in here. Well foam, well foam. It's, it's well protected in here. They give you all sorts of little things. And, and look at this, they even give you extra tape in here. You can't beat that. This is perfect this is a 3m tape they included in here um the whole assembly line they give you a little box where all the tools and all the nuts and everything has to be bolted in here right it's all included in here put it aside here take all this plastic all the device now this is the main brain here it's not plug in at all it's it's not included plugging in of course this is where you have to come in and your wits have to come in about plugging it in so the brains are separate I'm gonna put this on the side 
Now this part right here is the most difficult part to take out. Whoa. Well, the brain, this is the main part of the, of the print. So here's all the brain stuff. Here's all the stuff I need. Um, they give you the cable. It's an extension cable for, for the actual brain connection. So it's not bad. They give you the, the, the actual tape, a 3M tape, the brains itself in the back here and the plate itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's included in the plate first. Let me talk a little bit about this. First of all, this part where the prints actually sit is one of the best things I've seen so far. It's, it's pretty large. Um, I'll put the, the dimensions on here on the corner. It's pretty large just to even see it. And not only that, they give you freaking glass in here. Instead of you actually cutting the glass to size it up, it's included for you. And they give you the actual paper clips to actually hang on to the, to the actual glass. Not only if you don't like them, you can always print your own. So like I said, once you have this, you can do all sorts of little things. So let me show you exactly how it looks like. I'm gonna unwrap it here. This looks beautiful. You can see it, it's already stabilized. A lot of people don't like how it, do, it, it, it moves. Mine's came already stabilized. It's pretty, it, it pretty slides up and down and real neat. I don't see any problems with it. Um, the cable that goes to the brains, it's right here by itself too. So all we have to do is mount this to the top and line it up. There's a pre-punch holes in there already. So they're all set up pretty much. Um, the base itself, you gotta make sure that there's a, they actually included something new that's not in the original one and not in the original specs. Like if you see here, they put aluminum in the backing now. They have aluminum in the back now because there was an issue with the heat not retaining in the glass. Now they included that aluminum in the back to retain more of the heat because your prints were kind of like uh, breaking apart, not working very properly because this thing was cooling off so quick because the aluminum is pretty cold that they actually added aluminum in here. This is a plus. This is not included in the original one. This is the first time I see this stuff. So it's not bad. It's, it's an insulation for the heat. So it contains more of it because the problem was that this was, you actually had to sh make a shelf for this just to retain the heat. But now that they have that in the back, it might be a difference so let's take a look let's put it together so they give you all this instructions in here they're all in Chinese I don't understand none of this stuff but they give you the USB that has the UM manual too in here that you can include the pictures are supposed to be simple to use so let's go ahead and take everything out you get the USB to transfer you get all the little tools too and snipper snipping cut and they include every single tool you're gonna need to put this together they give you the American power cord they give you um, the guarantee, the warranty, and not only that, they give you the nozzle just for this this particular model here, an extra one, a spatula to take out the actual prints, the main part, the main head, and they give you filament, a couple of centimeters of filament, so it's pretty good. You can actually print something for the test version. The sensor, they give you sensors. They give you USB with a micro SD card in there so you can transfer your prints. The holder for the filament. The top of the filament. Actually, this is not the this is the sensor where the filament actually passes through. And if it runs out of filament, it actually turns off. And this is the extra piping, so it could pipe in through the filament, transfer the filament. Uh, more of the filament holder. And let's start with the instructions first. <laughs> Check these instructions out. Step number one, complete the assembly of the 3D printer. What? Step number two, take the blue cable. This is the blue cable just to align it up. It actually fills in the blanks in here. Um, snip the ends of it. If you have a excess, a excessive of the blue, um, follow these steps to install the color strip. This is just for the color strip installation. It's just, useless instructions here that I, I would need. Now they give you a list of what's included in this system and it's including almost 
15 items in the back one uh, 15 items overall they include and they include the most important parts in the front and the extra accessories and the stuff that you're gonna need in the back so 15 items are included in this system they give you a manual a guarantee if you want a complaint department to China or something because it's all Chinese mostly base uh, and the instructions are not very good at all I would recommend you using the USB manual or doing something else but the manual the actual instructions in this it's horribly horribly off it gives you all these little pinpoints but if you don't understand or learn how to read Chinese then you're gonna have a major issue little flathead which is really neat uh, all the tools are right here in front of me I'm gonna set them to the side here because we're gonna need up every single one of them uh, are gonna be needed so there's different size they give you how many Allen tools they give you one two three four five and two little wrenches and one flathead so that's not bad so let's go ahead and commence with the first the tools the M5 that we're gonna need the M5s are located in here we bring them all out along with the sensor Ooh, a lot of stuff in here you got you can't lose anything so the stuff that you're gonna need, the T, the T drive, the T's connections to stabilize the whole system. It's in here. There's two of them. They actually give you two with the sensor itself. Uh, that's kind of important. They give you the two of these circular things. I'm gonna just put them here on the side. Anything that you have extra that you want to lose, make sure you put it in the bag so you won't lose it. Uh, because you have to have the space to put this together. And like I said, there's the four screws that we're looking for. The M520. So after multiple tries, it finally started working, but it's a little bit off right now. I still have to mess with the settings right now. It's still not perfect print. Um, the cable management, I still have to deal with it. Uh, the hardest part of this whole thing was probably just setting up these blue lines, these blue strips, to be honest with you. It's just to go all the way to the top, it's just, it's just a matter of setting all these things up. Um, it's not lined up properly yet. Um, it's still printing off center. Um, when I try to put it on Cura, I gotta set up the the whole setting on Cura before I start printing. So right now, I pretty much cheated. I moved it all the way to the left and started printing out from there. Um, I used the CRX settings, the original ones that were in there, um, not the S version because the S version is a little bit off. On the on the heating bed. I had to adjust a couple things on the heating bed. So let's go to tune so you guys can see what I'm talking about. On the heating bed, I had to put 62 speed because I had to slow it down because it was messing up on there. The nozzle 220, bed 74 because it still goes down to 60 or 50. Um, fan, I didn't mess with it. So it's one of those things I just toned down a little bit. 
I gotta set that up on the Cura before I start printing out these things because right now it seems like it's not lining up. It's melting some of the top, it's hitting, it's, I try to um, balance it, it's balanced right now, but there's something else, I, I still have to tinker with it. It's gonna take me a couple of prints before I actually get 100%. Now the hardest part of this machine itself, it was setting up all these cables, these little connections, X, Y, Z, and E. Those are the most difficult things I had a problem with um, besides that because the instructions were horrible. Other than that, really good machines printing out now, finally got the print. It's facing me now. And um, first test I'm doing, um, let's see if it works and I'll let you guys know on the next video. All right.